Welcome, Zaslow Show 2.0. It is a Thursday, the 19th of October. Good to have you aboard. We are part of the Believe Podcast Network and presented as always by Anna Jar and Levine, Accident Attorneys, 800 747 free. 800-747-3733. You've been in an accident. You, you call 911 first. Then you get an attorney on the phone at Anna Jar and Levine. Whatever the injury is, whatever it came from, motorcycle, boating, slip and fall, hit and run. You may be thinking to yourself, what's it going to cost to work with a lawyer here in Fort Lauderdale? What's it going to cost here in Florida? You owe Anna Jar and Levine no upfront fees to get started with the case. You only pay if they collect compensation on your behalf. They are literally working for you. And then we're agreeing on a percentage-based fee for their services. They want you to put their knowledge to the test, their experience, their resources to work for you. Anna Jar and Levine, Accident Attorneys, 800-747-FREE, 800-747-3733. We got NFL Week 7 getting going tonight. Jacksonville and New Orleans. We got a doubleheader, American League Championship Series Game 4, National League Championship Series Game 3. It's a Texas showdown with the American League in the postseason. And Bet Online is your number one source for all your baseball wagering info, all the -the up-to-the-minute stats, news, scores, matchup breakdowns for the NFL tonight. Get the latest game odds, spreads, and totals for all your pro, all your college football. It's at your fingertips with BetOnline's real-time updates on stats, news, and odds. BetOnline has everything you need to stay up to speed on each league championship series all the way through the World Series. Head to the BetOnline website today or use your mobile device to get in on the action. Don't forget, use the promo code BELIEVE, B-L-E-A-V, to receive your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. BetOnline, where the game starts. So, got a really fun show planned today. I'm excited to have you aboard here. It's Thursday, so yes, week seven of the NFL gets going tonight. We have New Orleans, <coughs> excuse me, and Jacksonville. Trevor Lawrence, he's a question mark, but we got to make sure we know who to start, we know who to sit, all the fantasy football stuff. So our pal Jamie Eisenberg, CBS Sports Fantasy Football, he joins us every Thursday. He's going to join us here. He'll help us out. We'll, we'll have him give his MVP. You know, we, we did our MVP rankings yesterday. If you miss any of Zaslow Show 2.0, you can always go back in the archives. I love when you go back and listen to past shows. You listen to shows you didn't listen to earlier. That That's what I'm talking about. So you can catch up on everything. If you missed that conversation, well, I mean, it was me. If you missed me conversating with me about the MVP. You can go back and listen to that yesterday. Ah, two and number one. And we'll talk to Jamie about that, but he'll also give us who to start, who to sit, all that fun stuff. You know, Christian McCaffrey's a big question mark. He's Monday night. Do, do you wait? What do you do? Who else should you start? Should you wait for Monday night football? So we'll get him on. You got the Dolphins and the Eagles this Sunday night. Philadelphia, they got a lot going on. You got the National League Championship Series, Philadelphia today. You got the Eagles and Dolphins, Sunday night. (laughs) You got the James Harden situation in Philadelphia, Joel Embiid, the Sixers. John Kincaid, he is a sports talk heavyweight, 97.5, the fanatic in Philadelphia. We're going to get John Kincaid on the show today. We'll talk mainly Dolphins and Eagles with him. But like I just mentioned there, there's a lot going on in Philly. And like I said... He's a sports talk heavyweight. We'll get John Kincaid on the show. I'm really, I'm looking forward to talking to him. And by the way, I'm also looking forward to talking to him because uh, he's he's doing he's going to drop by on the show today while he is doing chemotherapy. That's right. He he's he's been battling cancer, I think, on and off for a little while now, and so he's going through chemo treatments right now. And he's still working. I mean, he does his show in the mornings, 97.5 The Fanatic in Philly. And he's going through chemo treatments at the same time, like a warrior. So that's awesome. I'm looking forward to having John Kincaid on the show today. And we'll talk what's going on, Dolphins and Eagles, and get you ready for Sunday night. But let's start out here. Your Miami Heat, 2-2 two and two now in the preseason. They're through four of five preseason games. They will wrap it up tomorrow night. At Houston. Last night was your last chance 
to catch your favorite little basketball team in person, preseason style. You had a bunch of guys. Heat lost 107-104. Fun game. Came right down to the end there. The Heat actually had the lead with two minutes left. And they, they wind up having a chance late. I mean, Cole Swider couldn't really get a shot off. And the Heat lose 107-104. But you, you were without. There was no Jimmy Butler. No Tyler Hero. No Kevin Love. No Kyle Lowry. No Caleb Martin. No Jaime Jaquez, which is frustrating because you want to see him playing right away. But he's dealing with a groin issue that he suffered in the first game. Uh, Josh Richardson re-aggravated his back early in this game. So that sucks as well. But you had... Uh, and it's, it's fun. At least the Heat are being honest, right? Next to Kyle Lowry and Kevin Love's name on the injury report. You know, Kyle Lowry, Kevin Love, out. Let others... Give others a chance to play. That's why it wasn't rest, wasn't an injury. They're out. Give others a chance to play. Okay, at least we're being honest, right? And so you had Haywood Highsmith. Haywood Highsmith led Miami 15 points. He was 6 of 8. He was 3 for 4 from 3. Jamal Kane. Jamal Kane's got to be part of this team, right? Not only has Jamal Kane got to get one of those final roster spots, Jamal Kane, I feel like he's got to play. Jamal Kane last night. Seven points, 14 rebounds. He is a very active player. And for a team who had a lot of trouble rebounds in the basketball last year because of their size, Jamal Kane, I, I feel like he's got to play. He has shown he can score. He has shown he can rebound. Excellent job out of him again last night. Nikola Jovic, which I think they're calling him Nico. I think he's going to be Nico Jovic. Which is smart because you don't get the confusion now with Nikola Jokic, you know. So, Niko Jovic, he had nine points off the bench yesterday. This team has so many guys that I want to see play. That's why, yes, we're down about the Lillard stuff. But I refuse to, like, I'm not thinking about it anymore. I refuse to go into this season with any kind of negative feelings about this team. I'm excited to see this group coming off of an Eastern Conference championship with a bunch of guys who I think are really going to help this team. And to show just how deep they are, Niko Jovic, who's a guy who we want to see, he came off the bench last night in a game that all those aforementioned players did not play. That's how deep this team is right now, that Jovic came off the bench last night when you had all of those guys out. So... There's a lot going on. There's a lot of guys on this team right now that I am excited to see play. There are guys who, who I think are going to help this team. It's why, you know, this team has the, they have the benefit of knowing. Just get to the postseason. We're not afraid of anybody. doesn't matter who we play. First round, second round. We've shown we could beat all of these teams. So just get to the postseason. And what I'm getting at is, I really think the regular season for this Heat team needs to be about, let's find out who these young guys are. Hawkes, Jovich, Highsmith, Kane. Let's find out who these guys are. The Heat are going to win enough games to get to the postseason. You'd like them to be a top four, top five team, which I think is possible. But I think this regular season needs to be about developing these guys and getting them ready to contribute in the postseason. You know, you had guys contribute in the postseason last year, guys like Max Struess and Gabe Vincent, guys who had been developed over the last couple of years. You need guy, secondary players to help Butler, to help Bam, to help Tyler Hero, and the only way they're going to be ready to do that is by getting playing time in the regular season. They're going to be good enough to make the playoffs for sure. Definitely top six, you would think, so they can avoid the play-in. But I really think this regular season needs to about, be about finding out if some of these young guys can play and can contribute to a playoff team. And I think it's worth sacrificing some wins in the regular season to get to a place where these guys can help you in the playoffs. I really think that's what this regular season need I, I think that's a major part of what this regular season needs to be about. So the Heat lose last night, but I, I had fun with that game. I had the Heat game on the big TV. 
I had the baseball and small TV status in the Zaslow Mansion family room. You know what I'm talking about. So they'll close it out tomorrow in Houston. Now, as far as the important stuff tonight, I already told you, you got Thursday night football. Great. But Thursday night football, that's small TV status in the Zaslow Mansion family room. The Florida Panthers, your favorite little hockey team. They are back in action tonight. Home opener. They will raise the banner for the Eastern Conference Championship. Just the second in franchise history. This is the 30th home opener in Florida Panthers history. That's right. It's the 30th season of Panther hockey. You're going to have a great crowd. Probably get a bunch of Toronto fans. But this Panther team has made the playoffs three consecutive years. I don't count the 2020 COVID year. If you want to do that, it's four. But for the first time in franchise history, three consecutive seasons making the postseason. This is literally the golden era of Panther hockey, which is good, but it's also pathetic because it's their 30th year. But the point is, we're here. We're in a place where this team is now viable. They're sustaining success. And I think now you are going to reap the rewards of that as a Panther fan where I think most home games are going to be really close to a sellout. Look, I went to the first preseason game. It was an afternoon weekday game. It was a great crowd for preseason. Lower level, almost full. Years past, that game, you're getting 100 people in the stands. I think that tonight, tonight's going to be a phenomenal crowd. And I think most games this year are going to be close to sold out, which really is going to provide a tremendous atmosphere for this team that's going to try to get to 500 tonight for the first time. They lost their first two. Can they win their next two now? I would imagine Bobrovsky is going to get the start for the fourth consecutive game to start the season. I don't know why he wouldn't, considering the last game was Monday, and this is the home opener. So I'm super pumped about tonight. I'm not going to the game. I know a lot of people, a lot of you guys are saying, Zazzle, are you going? I'm not going. I got things I need to handle tonight. We're not going to the game. But I am way into it tonight. I'm very excited. I love the Panthers so much. And I love that they're good where, yeah, I could wake up this morning and I'm looking forward to watching the Panthers tonight. So that's what we have on tap tonight. All right. Before we get to John Kincaid, let's get to all, let's get to Dolphins and Eagles with him and a bunch of other hot stories as well. Before we get to John Kincaid here, guys, one of our new sponsors, one of our main sponsors on It's Still Real to Me, that's my pro wrestling show, is Matthew H. Mashler and Signature Real Estate Finder. If you're thinking about getting a new home, if you're looking for that dream home, you don't know where to start, you start with Matthew H. Mashler, Signature Real Estate Finder. There are so many great options, so many homes out here in beautiful South Florida, and you need someone to show you. You, you need Matthew H. Mashler, your trusted real estate broker, to make sure you're getting the best deal and the perfect home for you and your family. Matthew's got over a decade of experience specializing in luxury homes. He's a certified luxury home marketing specialist. So with offices all throughout Florida, and that includes Boca Raton, by the way, Signature Real Estate, number one in Boca Raton, one of the tops in all of Florida. But with offices all throughout Florida, Boca, Delray, Parkland, Fort Lauderdale, Naples, Miami, Palm Beach, the Signature team is where you want to be. Maybe you're not just looking for your dream home. Maybe you want to get involved and be a part of the Signature team. If you're ready to take your real estate career to the next level, Signature Real Estate Companies, Signature Real Estate Finder, Matthew H. Mashler, go to realestatefinder.com. So if you're looking to buy your new dream home, Matthew H. Mashler, 561-208-3334. You're looking to sell your property, Matthew H. Mashler, 561-208-3334. Or you're just looking to join the best in the business, realestatefinder.com. Matthew H. Mashler, your pathway to exceptional real estate experiences. <laughs> 